This video will cover the basics of how to build a shaft wall in commercial construction along with details for shaft wall corners, duct, and elevator door openings. Shaft walls are constructed using horizontal J tracks at the bottom of the wall and at the top of the wall and vertical J tracks at the ends of walls. A shaft liner panel is then set between the tracks and a CT, CH, or eye stud is slid over the shaft liner panel. The installation of studs and shaft liner panels are then alternated, friction fitting in place with no fasteners required. A typical installation begins by fastening horizontal J tracks to the top and to the bottom of the wall with appropriate fasteners spaced 24 inches on center. Install a vertical J track with a 3 8 inch pen head screw at each corner. Cut shaft liner panels one inch short of the overall wall height and install the first shaft liner panel by fastening it to the long leg of the vertical J track with inch and 5 8 type S screws 24 inches on center. Place CTCH or I studs within the top and bottom tracks and slide over the shaft liner panel. Slide the next shaft liner panel between the tabs and flanges of the stud. The tabs and flanges of the shaft wall studs will provide a friction fit for the shaft liner panels requiring no fasteners. Install another stud over the shaft liner and continue until the end of the wall. Maintain a stud spacing of 24 inches on center to ensure the shaft liner is fully inserted into the studs. For wall heights that exceed the length of the shaft liner panels, locate horizontal butt joints within the upper and lower thirds of the wall. Stagger joints in adjacent panels to avoid a continuous joint. Butt joints do not require taping, framing, or fire stop sealant. Terminate the shaft wall with a vertical J-track fastened to the horizontal J-tracks with penhead screws. To create a corner, fasten the web of a second vertical J-track on the long leg of previous J-track with penhead screws 24 inches on center. Frame all duct openings with J-track to protect cut gypsum core edges and to provide resistance to bending and other stresses. At elevator door openings, place elevator door jam sections of J-Track and J-Track headers. Install the face layer of 5 8 inch Type X gypsum board, one layer for one hour UL fire rated assemblies, and two layers for two hour UL fire rated assemblies. Stagger vertical and horizontal joints. For specific technical questions, contact National Gypsum's 1-800-NATIONAL Construction Services Team.